these are very common lamps on eBay and uh, they've been around for a while and I bought some a while back and in fact I modified some of them. I changed the capacitor on them for a lower value capacitor and used them as general 24 hour just background illumination in the house and they're very handy for that. But I was wondering uh, how much things have changed, uh, how, if they've updated the circuitry in them. So these are, are a very basic arrangement. The front cover does pop off. Sometimes a bit of force required to pop it off. Oh, it's not going to pop off. There it goes. And inside is typically a modestly good quality fiberglass circuit board with seven 5050 LEDs. Now, the 5050 LEDs have three chips in each, and they're wired. There's six pins, and the chips are usually wired directly across the pins, so they tend to stagger them. They sort of zigzag along it, and that means all the LEDs can be wired in series, giving 21 LEDs. And that gives a forward voltage of 21 LEDs times, let's say, uh, let's say 3 volts for the LEDs. So that's about, say, 63 volts across each of these PCBs. The power supply is also usually pretty simple. The 390 nanofarad capacitor, in this case there's no smoothing capacitor, 1 mega ohm discharge resistor, rectifier and a 680 ohm uh, C resistor. That has just become so common for these LED lamps. So there'll be a bit of shimmer, a bit of flicker, but you know, they'll emit good quantities of light. And they're very hackable in the sense that you can take this uh, capacitor out, you can change it for maybe a 220 nanofarad and it'll run them a bit, a little bit lower. You know, I'm not even 100% sure what current these run at. I might do a wee test there, actually. So here's a, another one. And it's pretty much just the same thing again. Uh, is it 390, I think it is. Yep, 390 nanofarad, 680 ohm, uh, 1 meg ohm. It is just the same circuit board. So how does that compare to the ones I bought before in the past? Still using a fairly good quality circuit board. Similar. Now, I can't say for the value of the, resist the capacitor because I changed this one to 100 nano just to make it a super long life one. But all the other values are the same in that, so pretty much no change there. And what about this last one? Again, the fairly good quality board. Slightly different arrangement. Bigger pads. Oh, and this one's got the smoothing capacitor. Um, and its little discharge resistor, which is a 200k, I think, by the look of it. And it's got a 470k discharge resistor. And what's the value of the capacitor? That's 220 nano. Oh, I might have put that capacitor in, come to think of it. I may have put that in to lower the output of this, because then that's that odd. I recognise the actual name in the side of it as being the one for my supplier. So this is probably modified as well. But uh, that one did at least have the smoothing capacitor, usually about 470. Well, this is 2.2 microfarad, 400 volt. But uh, just out of interest, with one of these, I'm just going to get... Um, I'm just going to get a power supply and we'll plug it in and we'll measure the resistance, the voltage. I'm going to plug it into this lamp holder and uh, we'll just, um, just out of interest, I want to see what voltage I'm measuring across one of the LEDs in this. So I'll plug that in. Oh, warm white, nice. These are very cheap on eBay, they're, they're just a, a, what you might call almost a bread and butter LED lamp. So I'm going to deliberately bridge, actually I'll stick this to current, which is what I'm supposed to be doing here. I'm going to deliberately bridge one of these LEDs and that will give me an idea of, that LED will go out and I'll see the current going through that line. It's 23 milliamps. That's a modest, I would have said it would have been better sticking to 20 milliamps maximum for these uh, for the 5050 uh, package, because I would class that as just um, being able to be run at three times 20 milliamps, but I suppose it's not that far off it. So, um, so nothing's really changed ultimately. They're, they're, that seems to have just become a, a standard style of these little sort of golf ballish type lamps. 
Um, but the the quality of manufacture seems pretty good uh, in general. So that you know, I can see these are probably used quite a lot just for general background background illumination. It's also nice you can get the frosted or the clear covers, and you get the cold white or warm white. So um, it's it's interesting little lamps.